Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Julien Tornard, who by the way is the CEO of Zenit, with me today in Dubai. With great pleasure. With great Thank pleasure. you, Alex. Now, why are we in Dubai, uh, Julien? This is a particular reason. Um, you brought us to Dubai instead of having us in the cold and freezing Geneva as we were normally in uh, in January. Yes, of course. No, that's one of the reasons. Climate, of course, is nice here. And it's really pleasant to be here outside. But it's, it's more about coming to the markets because historically, we've always had the trade shows in Switzerland. And on top of that, this year, it's very late. We're talking April, May. So we thought, yeah, okay, we shall we meet in January as we always did and we decided Dubai because we had an opportunity with uh, Jean-Christophe from Bulgari offering hospitality in this great uh, Bulgari resort. Uh, Dubai is very central so people can come easily from Europe, from America, from Asia so we, we believe it's a, it's a good way but the main reason is to come to the markets okay, and not to have people coming to us. For me it's great to have one show in Switzerland because historically Switzerland is the country of watchers so we have to be there as well. But it's important to go to the markets. And again, this year is Dubai. Maybe next year is Asia. Maybe in two years it's the US. I don't know yet. Uh, what we want to do is we want to experiment this format here now. We want to see what Basel is going to be like in 2020. And then we'll make a decision about the future. Julia, let's talk about the product. Yes. Um, you're very much focusing on women this year? Uh, yes and no. Yes we and focus no. on women in Dubai. But when we meet again in a few months in Basel world, we will not talk much about women, you know. Okay. Uh, the beginning of the year is, is I would say, um, split into different things. But one of the key launch is the DeFi Midnight. You know, DeFi has been such a great success and I would say probably the main growth engine for Zenit over the last uh, two and a half years that we had a lot of requests. Can you go with a smaller size? More than women, let's talk about smaller size. And step by step, we went to the project to make a 36 millimeter that's mm -hmm. coming to life now. But you know, if you want to make a smaller size, a watch for women, you have to think, in my opinion, about two things. You need a story behind mm -hmm. it. You, mm -hmm. need, you need something to talk about the watch. And you need to think what kind of watch women are wearing today. So on the first question, we worked on, and you can see it here, we worked on the starry sky. So mm -hmm. we worked on a very special dial where you can see all the stars, and the sky uh, as it's part of Zenit DNA. You know the starry sky that we have at the manufacturer, the logo is a star, the new uh, communication campaign, time to reach your star, meaning go for your objective, go for your achievement. All this character, all this personality is in the dial. Mm -hmm. So you have a nice story to talk about. But on top of that, we wanted also something adapted to women of the 21st century. And I mean, women of the 21st century is clearly... Uh, yeah, she I'm likes to... They, they like to change, they like yeah. to do different things. So you can basically change when you buy this watch, you buy on the metal bracelet and you get three different straps. So you completely change the look of the watch. So that's a watch that's very, very modern for that. Can yeah. she choose the colors of the straps or are you defining the colors to go with the watch? Alors, we are defining the first step, uh, the first uh, set, I would say, the first colors. They are defined in the box when you buy the watch. And then, of course, you can buy extra colors. Okay. So yeah. you will continue to add colors? Yeah. Maybe trendy colors for the year or something? Yeah, of course, for the summer, for different things. Great, great. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's an easy way for us to change, but I mean, uh, you really change the watch. So you, you're dressed in red, you're dressed in white, you can really mix up. So that's something for me that's, that's very contemporary and that's what we wanted to go. So a nice story about the starry sky and the dream. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a new concept basically called Dream Hearse. Mm -hmm. that you will discover later in the year. It's all around women. So yes, Zenit is coming back into the women's segment after mm -hmm. quite a few years. And it's an in-house movement uh, for those who are maybe interested a little yeah, bit yeah. in technology. So it's your elite? Totally in-house, elite, uh, three-hand, automatic uh, movement. We continue like that, yeah, beautiful. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. I'm pleased to see this and I would say, um, uh, we just talked before starting the interview, if this concept would be part of the watch industry, I would say it would be more fair towards women because when they buy a watch, normally they are forced to buy the little taste of the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And now sure. you are not the first, but one of the first to say, okay, we give a variety of choices yeah, of and it's her who chooses and not it's you to decide, and not, not your designers. Yeah, it's her to decide. It's her to decide and I would say beyond the, the, the fashion aspect of the different colors and the interchangeability of the strap, uh, she's also buying a real object. 
I mean, a real watchmaking object mm -hmm. with some technical uh, movement. You know, it's an in-house movement, as we said. And I don't believe, uh, I, I believe that women really appreciate also to buy a manufacturer. It's not only the men that are interested in technique. I think we are sometimes uh, underestimating women in their interest to technicity. Yeah, we have now uh, people seeing, maybe being interested and saying this could be a nice for present sure, for, for my sure. wife. Yeah, of course, of course. I okay. think it's a, it's a nice one. But there's a second watch also that very much goes into classic. Yeah. I would say this is a watch both could wear, men and women. Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe you just grab of course, one, of one of the new... The Zenith Elite collections, also with the Elite movement, um, is, is about classic. We're mm. talking about classic. And then when I look at the watches we had in our collection, I was not really happy with the level of um, uh, finishing and the level of elegance. So I said, let's go back. And you know, as you, you do know, of course, the most difficult part is to design a classic watch. Yes. It's the most difficult watch yes. to design. So we spent quite a bit of time, but we reworked completely on the shape of the case, of the lugs, uh, of the, the dial. We put a lot of value on the dial with this sunshine uh, effect, uh, sunburst uh, on the dial, and, and give really a very, very elegant watch. Because if you go for classic, go for elegance. That's the only meaningful point for me. So we went for that, and again, we're launching this year this, this Elite with, again, manufacture movement. So not much to say. Huh? Beautiful. But on product. these watches, the bracelets are defined. Yeah, yeah. This you cannot change. It's yeah, you can, wonderful. of course. But it's you not. Can, there's but no. Not, there's not like no uh, yeah, yeah. simple. No. You press a button and no. you unclick. No, 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 but no, no, you no. can change, and you of will course. offer of different course. styles yeah. and colors. Yeah, like any other watch. I mean, you better go and see a watchmaker or someone who is able to do it without scratching the case. So it's a different concept. But uh, no, no. Of course, we have plenty of different straps. Yeah. Okay. And we have we have one uh, three hands and one moon face. Yeah. And here again, the moon face one. We wanted to have um, uh, to work a bit on the on, on the moon aspect, not to have the simple moon half like we see uh, turning around, but to have really the moon, a little moon in the middle of the sky, and giving a, a different perspective of the moon phase complication. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, without diamonds, or even with diamonds, could be a, war, a watch course. worn in some parts of the world of that also could check men. Completely. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no. The, 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 really, what we wanted to do is a beautiful, elegant, classic watch can be worn by both, yeah. You, you didn't forget the man? No, of course, we never, we would never. Even if, um, in Dubai we talk a lot about women watches, we have some very interesting watches for men. One of them, you know it very well, is this, uh, this beautiful uh, amazing. A384 watch. Mm. Uh, one of the few uh, equipped with the El Primero in the 60s. One of the very few that, you know, we celebrated so much last year. And, uh, the connoisseur, they know of course about this bracelet, yeah. which is called the Gay Frère bracelet. Yeah. Very the famous, Gay Frère. very famous uh, uh, bracelet in the in the late 60s With and the 70s. The integrated air conditioning. Correct, <laughs> exactly. You get you get air. It's very good for the hot countries. No, but uh, I mean, we still have that watch, of course, on leather, but we wanted to launch it on this bracelet, and I know this is going to be crazy. Yeah. Uh, and you, with you the have collectors. been rebuilding the bracelet. Totally, by, by totally, purpose. yeah, yeah, totally rebuilding the same way, exact, exactly the same with, rendering. With, with that, like the original with that one. anachronistic ultra thin uh, clasp. Yeah, correct. Because if you see this today, uh, you would say, "Oh, this is vintage. It's yeah, cool." Yeah. No, no, because it's all, a, on all my old watches in my yeah, collection, you yeah, have this exactly. anachronistic thin. But it's yeah. it's much more stable than it was in the time being. Ah, you know, yeah, because we do it in a slightly different way. But I mean, it's very stable, very yeah. convenient, no, no, strong. I, so it's a, it's it wasn't a, it's a great criticizing watch. you. It was rebuilding even that oh, yeah, yeah. ultra thin. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, we be had to. authentic. No, no. I wanted to be very close to the original one. And you know, the one on leather has been so successful in the fall since we launched it. We got so many requests. Basically, people asked to buy the bracelet separately. How can we get the bracelet done? We say, okay, we simply gonna launch the watch, and and, and and people are expecting that. So that's iconic, iconic watch. With yeah. a, with, let's say with a, a size you have to dare as a man. That's pretty small. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is You're used to have yeah, 37. No, no, yeah. If if we just compare the uh, yeah. the new Land Rover. For sure. A defender watch uh, to uh, yeah, for sure, for you sure. You have to dare to work, but I Alors, think there are it, more and more people coming now. Exactly, exactly. No, no. I mean, we need we need for both clients. You no, know, clients are looking for a bigger watch. Clients for a smaller one, more historical one. What's interesting when you put these two watches next to each other is that that particular watch was the inspiration in the shape of the case when we created the Defy Twenty One two and a half years ago, three years ago. Yeah. So it's it's they are they are in a way they look different, but they are connected by the history of the brand. Alors, speaking about that one that I have in my hand, you know, we've been collaborating with um, Land Rover for quite a few years. And this year, they launched a very iconic car called the Defender. 
So we worked with uh, Jerry McGovern in the UK and his team to, uh, to, 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 to launch a watch that would be... Who is the designer? Uh, yeah, he's the uh, designer, the designer for, of the for Land Rover. Yeah, Land Rover, yeah, I Land Rover yeah. and, and we came with this. We came with this because of the color, because of the material, uh, because of the look, and uh, which is reminding a lot about this rough, uh, super resistant uh, uh, aspect of the Defender, you know. Uh, and I think it's been it's been a very nice uh, very nice results. We do 250 pieces worldwide, very limited, mm -hmm. and in partnership with them. So that's uh, that's that's normal evolution, I would but say. But there there's not a car that is going to be limited, and you buy a car uh, matching numbers with the watch. No, it's Nothing separated. Planned. Yeah, okay, it's okay. separated. It's, no, 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 no. I mean, often. But sometimes what, these things are done. Sometimes it happens. Often, what we do is that they have their group of um, car buyers, car clients that are very much into watches. So they ask us to keep some watches for these guys to give them priority. That's, that's all we do. Otherwise, it's two separate things. Eh? Mm -hmm. We just communicate uh, together. But I mean, it's not because you buy the, the car that you get the free watch or if you buy the no, watch, you get the free the car. It's not the discount. This is not the discount for the, for the <laughs> Land Rover. Uh, and it comes, uh, wait, wait, it comes with a second, ah, yeah, second yeah. strap. So if you, I know you like if that you're one. more, uh, yeah, this is more my fabric. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, yeah, that's, this that's fabric nice type one. is more yeah, mine. That's but okay, nice that's that's a question of taste. Yeah, so that's, tastes that's are different. So taste. yeah, it's a very, very good tastes way to are, say it. Yeah, yeah. very good. Tastes way to are say different. It. One would like the more the rubber, but the Land Rover is so, so such a cool car. Yeah, wow. no, no, it's a, it's a great. It's gonna be. I mean, we, we we will do very well with this one. And then, if I may say this one, you know, last year we came back with the carbon by layer strongly with the Defi Twenty One with the double tourbillon hundred of a second as I'm wearing now, and we wanted to do something with. Cal Cox. You know Cal Cox? Yes. Okay, Techno a, DJ. He made us dance huh, for many uh, years, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, for, for, for the younger uh, uh, w people watching us today, uh, he's been a great DJ of the 80s. He's still a legend as a yeah. DJ. And uh, we met him. And first, I was not really keen on doing anything special with him. It was a very casual meeting. Then he told me about his life story. And I was very impressed because it's very much in line with our new brand philosophy, you know. Uh, called Time to Reach Your Star, which has always been in our DNA, but we put back on stage right now. Meaning, you have a star in your life, you have to go and reach for it. He told me how he started from nothing, how he tried 20 times and nothing worked. And suddenly, by working hard and by pursuing his dreams, pursuing his, his star, he managed to reach it and became a legend in, in, in DJing. And then we shared about watchmaking, he loves it, and we decided to make a cooperation together. This year, cooperation on that particular watch. Which record is it? Ah, uh, this one I cannot tell you. <laughs> <laughs> because the, yeah, yeah. the running second is a record in here. Yeah, it's exactly. a vinyl, it's something maybe oh. some young, um, younger generation yeah. watching is, what is a vinyl record doing? Okay, you need a turntable yeah, and uh, yeah, them. you have to put it on. And <laughs> <laughs> it's for, right. for us, for yeah. the old chaps. We, we still remember that. Yeah, of course. But no, it's, 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 it's a very cool watch with a, with a record here in the middle. Uh, Defi 21, of course, you know it, and, and something you cannot see here in the, in the sky because we're outside, but if you are in the dark, let's say if you are in a nightclub listening to uh, Carl Cox uh, DJing, the with light. the UV light, you will see some of the aspect of the watch shining. So it's we the have. best watch to go into um, nightclubs. The watch looks like those bottles they bring... A little bit, yeah, it's good. Those, those firework. Uh, Dom Perignons. <laughs> <laughs> so when you have the watch, you will get a, a little... No, but that's 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 a very cool watch, and I mean we have tons of big fans of music, and uh, we thought it was nice to do this. So the next thing you have to there do, there will be more. There will be more, by the way. Uh, yeah, but the, the next uh, thing we do is we to have come. to have a big Senate party with yeah. Carl Cox, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. coming, yeah, dancing, having year. fun. For sure, we have sure. to. Maybe we invite some of our viewers. Yeah, you sh you all you all welcome. Yeah. All I don't know, but many of you. Okay, <laughs> you heard that? Okay, you heard that. Julien Tona, the CEO of Zenit. Um, yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you, um, I'm, I'm very uh, pleased about what you're doing. Good. Thank you very much. Um, stay. We stay. We stay on, 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 on your mindset. Yeah, for sure. I think mm. you've done the right thing with that classical, to mm. keep the classical elegance. Yeah. I'm very pleased mm. to bring out those yeah. legends. Yeah. Good. You're doing a good job. We are working hard on it. We, yes. we as a team, yeah, the not team, only me. Of course. We are a big team. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Julien, to see you. merci. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.